Now, there's no doubt that Gary is one of the most successful chefs in the UK. He has got a list of awards as long as your arm. Atul only came to this country 12 years ago, but he's already got a Michelin star and a very big reputation. So what we have here are two highly acclaimed London chefs, but they're so busy that they haven't had time actually to go to one another's restaurants. So we sent them off for a sneak preview before battle commenced. Atul was first to check out the competition at Gary's London restaurant, Rhodes 24. The menu is beautiful. I think it's short, concise and to the point. I will actually let Gary choose. I know it's the toughest job for a chef to choose a menu for a peer. It'll be fun. It'll be great fun. Gary selects a number of signature dishes for Atul to try. First up is scallop with mashed potato. I quite like scallop sitting on perfectly made mash. I'm not so sure about the sauce. I like the sauce, but I think it's too strong. But the mutton pie that follows is perfectly made. This dish is definitely simple, uh, but I think most of the greatest dishes in the world are the most simplest ones because they are wholesome, they are full of flavor. I think this is perfect. True master at work. That's all I can say. So does Atul feel his cooking measures up to Gary's traditional English fare? He has got advantage over me uh, because he's more traditional British than I am. Yes, but scared me? No. Gary, thank you very much. Oh, Splendid oh, meal. Oh, Fantastic. Oh, I think we should just cook together and forget everything that we have, don't you? We seem to have hit it off straight away. Yeah, why not? Forget the rest. We'll do the job. Absolutely. Anyway, here we are. Cheers, Kerry. Cheers. Next, it was Gary's turn to visit Atul's London restaurant, Venares. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Venares. Good afternoon. Thank you. This is lovely. Absolutely lovely. This menu shouts very loud. This is classic Indian food, but he's certainly given it the British peel, and I like that. Atul has prepared a special North Indian dish for Gary, chicken liver masala. This has got its own style. There's a man cooking here who understands the spices. He knows what he's working with. He knows with all of their individual strengths, because nothing is taking away from me getting the flavor of the chicken liver. That is so soft and lovely to eat. Don't think the Queen will like it, though. So what are Gary's thoughts on Atoll's fish course when it arrives? There's almost an element of sort of the old Nouvelle Cuisine style about it, you know, in terms of <laughs> looking to build, build, and build, and tower, and tower, and tower, which nothing wrong with that at all. Um, I try and veer away from that if I can. So now he's sampled Atoll's skills. How does he feel about the competition now? I think it's going to be very, very competitive. I think it's going to be uh, a good match between the two of us, because you can see we've both got our own very definite style. That's great, I think, from the judge's point of view to see that. Chef, what can I say? How did it go, Gary? What can I say? You enjoyed? Superb. Superb. To the competition, to the Great British menu.